Hello friends, Sniz here, and today we are back again. Uh, this is probably the second or third day in a row I've been recording, so good on me. I just want to pat myself on the back there. But uh, hopping straight into it, we are doing the Ghost Ship Exorcist uh, quest line. Uh, well, to be fair, it's the last quest because I really only wanted to show fighting Captain Lanica, or whatever his name is. So, for those that don't, do not know, you have a slot in your inventory, uh, on your equipment tab, called a badge. Badges are really important, but there are only really two badges that matter in this game. That is the GSE, which is the Ghost Ship Exorcist badge, which I am going to be going over in this video, and an event badge from Sengoku High, which we'll cover, actually, later down the line since it came around. Either way, these two badges are important for one reason and one reason only. They can be potential. Most, if not all, other badges, to my knowledge, cannot have potential on them. The Ghost Ship Exorcist and this, the Event badge can be potted, and then from there you can cube it. So, the Ghost Ship Exorcist badge is a 15 star badge, level 140 or 150, I can't really remember off the top of my head. Uh, the quest line is in, uh, in starts in Boat Quay Town in Singapore, and it'll have you fight a lot of mobs from MP3 and within the Ghost Ship. Basically slaughter 100 of each mob, and at the end you slaughter 300 Mr. Anchors, and then finally you get to fight this boss. Uh, but, before you fight the boss, he's going to give you a lot of quests, except almost all of them. I think the ones you can avoid accepting is Missing White Essence and Entering Ulu City, but everything else needs to be accepted. Because there are two quests that go hand in hand, and one of them is the Ghost Ship Badge and Ghost Worthy or something like that. Either way, when you go back into the ship and go to the last room, the engine room, you'll enter and you summon the the boss with the white essence that you got from the previous quest. After summoning it, it's just a matter of staying alive and killing it. It will drop two important items. Uh, it'll drop a soul lantern and a black essence. Those two items are needed to complete the quest. After that, you can speak to the NPC in the top right, Bob or whatever his name is, and you go back and talk to Ralph the Wanderer. And you are awarded with a Ghost Ship Exorcist badge. This badge is the best in slot if you were not to take into account uh, events, because it is the only full full year year round e obtainable badge, and ex for reboot, it's the second best because we don't have any other options besides Sengoku High. To briefly touch on Sengoku High, uh, it's not much to touch on, but Sengoku High is in the next potential tier, or range so we can get instead of 12 and 9 percent it can get 13 and 10 percent which means it it's just better day and better better uh better st all stat rate stat percents you can get on it and overall just more damage uh it's level 160 if you were wondering that comes from one of the high school events the sengoku one based around kana and such uh and ranmaru You'll collect coins during that event, and eventually, once you have enough, you can turn it in for a badge. There's also a pocket item available from that event, but again, we'll go over it when when the event's actually around, or actually when I'm going over it. Uh, so, onwards. Welcome back. That was probably like less than a second, but welcome back. Uh... In the background, we are fighting Normal Horntail because this is my first ever clear of Normal Horntail, much less Chaos Horntail, which we'll eventually get to, and I do have clips of it. Uh, Normal Horntail is probably one of the next bosses you'll fight uh, of the original bosses. Of course, there's Rudibus and uh, Hilla you can fight now too, but Horntail is a pretty decent source of XP, and it's a it's a decent way to gauge how far we've come because Zakum I clear ridiculously fast. If I if if I'm clearing normal Horntail with with no issues like I am in this clip, then I'm one shotting or two shotting Zakum at this point. Just for an example, and 
that's how Maple Story is with progression. Na just natural progression, you're gonna be about this strong. Like I haven't done much to get stronger outside of uh, outside of the few events I've been presented. I've just been doing. I've just been buffing. I, I mean, I do have stars, star forcing. I did star force some of my equips, which I will recommend that you do. Uh, it does help tremendously, actually, and there's there's plenty of reasons to do it, uh, especially if you want to train on certain maps, and yada yada yada. But the point being here is we're fighting normal Horntail, which is the best way for me to show you that our damage has increased and we have gotten better. There's really no mechanics to normal Horntail. I think it doesn't even have damage reflect. It only has weapon cancel and magic cancel. So it's it's pot when you get hit and don't get hit too much. That's that's literally the whole point to this this boss. You can probably clear with like minimal range. It's just going to take you longer. So with that said, I highly recommend that you try it at some point. And if normal Horntail seems like too you you already feel that normal Horntail is too easy, uh, try Chaos Horntail. It's just the only thing in there is that it has damage reflect and more health, so you're gonna be in there longer. Uh, I'm not. Sh I don't believe there's anything else that you really have to worry about. I guess the hands are more likely to actually uh, seduce you because and lock your controls up and all that and seal you. But Hero's Will will overcome that pretty easily. Well, it will with literally just the press of a button. Uh, I I really can't say much about this boss. Like, as much as I would just love to talk about it, there's not much to say. It's a three-headed dragon that you're killing for its drops. And even then, I'm not sure if this is... I'm not... You don't... The only drop that it's going to give me that I'm going to be using for a decent amount of time is the Silver Blossom Ring. Like... The earrings and pendant drops, I'm going to immediately replace those with Golux as soon as I can. So, with that said, I highly recommend that you, as in the viewers, just fight the bosses. I mean, yes, they're locked to one entrance. Not one clear, but one entrance a day. But it's if you're like finishing up the day, your dailies, and it's near reset, just, just, just attempt it. It doesn't hurt to try. Uh, it's not. I don't believe you die and lose XP in here if if you're worried about that somehow. And I think you can see the XP at my level is really good for uh, for this area. So I would not sweat it. I would just take it out quick, get a quick clean kill, and go on your way. So sorry this video was a bit shorter. Uh, yeah, covered the ghost ship exorcist badge barely touched on the Sengoku badge. Oh, and I died in here, and I did not lose XP. Forgot. Forgot about that. Uh, either way, I'll still keep, I'll still count that as a win, because I got so much XP. Uh, and I think I got seduced and then hit by a rock, so, you know. What do? Anyways, I will see you guys next time, when I hopefully have better content and more content. Bye friends.